Hey guys, Kyle from Piraki.com here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Easton's new stick, the Mako. Um, the Mako has been out for a couple months now and it's been getting some really good and really positive reviews. Uh, I've been using it for a while. The thing i got to say about this stick is the release on it is just unbelievable. It has so much pop, the shot comes off so quick and so hard. Um, the other thing that I really like about it is Easton redesigned it, the weighting of the stick a little bit. Um, it's designed to feel a lot lighter in the blade so when you're making that quick little stick handling move you can really feel how light it is and how, how quickly you can move the stick um, but it doesn't it's not too light to the point of feeling real flimsy or any, you know anything like that um, down in the blade there's also um, this z tack is what they're calling it it's uh, like a shark skin type grit finish to give a little more feel on the puck uh, the stick has great response as far as where the puck is in the blade without even you know looking down or checking on the stick you can really feel exactly where on the blade you have the, the puck. Um, in the shaft, it's pretty standard. It's got a nice feel to it. Um, the raised composite gives you a nice little bit of a grip. On um, this one's the matte finish that I'm holding here, um, so it's got a little bit, a little bit of a grit to it. It's not quite a um, completely smooth stick, so there's something to kind of hold on to. But it's, uh, I've been using it for a couple months now, and I really, really like it. Uh, it's the first Easton stick I've used in three or four years that's not out of the stealth line and I've had no complaints and I highly recommend it. Uh, it's currently available at Pure Hockey and purehockey.com and it's the Easton Mako so thanks guys.